Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first official like moving vlog video. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do this as like an empty apartment tour as it is or put it in a moving vlog yet. So this is the obviously empty apartment tour. I moved in yesterday afternoon, but like we have no, like we don't have any of our stuff here yet because my boyfriend's coming up today with a moving van. So um, the apartment is furnished, but like the second bedroom isn't furnished. So we've literally got like nothing in here. So if it sounds really echoey, then that is why. I'm so excited, like I've literally, oh, sneak peek. I literally just like love it so much. I'm just obsessed. We'll start from the front door. So we've got the front door here and we've got a phone so I can just say, say hello Uber Eats, that's for me. I already ordered Uber Eats once yesterday. So yeah, let's not get into a habit of that. This is, oh, so we've got two bedrooms. This is the second bedroom, which is oh, unfurnished. Let's just hit the door there. It's unfurnished. And this apartment is actually a lot bigger in person than I was seeing on the video. I forgot to say, um, excuse the appearance of me, by the way. I have like no makeup with me. I don't, I literally have like none of my stuff. Um, but yeah, this apartment, so we walked around the outside of it when we was in Manchester, but obviously we've relocated, so we couldn't come back up to view it and we wanted it so badly. Um, and they were like, oh, it's literally the last one. I mean, I know they always tell you like, it's the last one, but I don't wanna risk it. So we just FaceTime viewed it. Um, and then like the first time I seen it was yesterday and I'm just so happy with it. Like I've not been catfished, which is good. It's better than I expected it to be, to be honest. And like I said, it's bigger as well. Like I feel like the videos made it look a lot smaller. So yeah, like I said, this is the second bedroom. It's a bit of like a odd shape, like from, cause ideally we wanted to put a bed in here, but I'm not sure if we're gonna fit one. So like this bit, you could easily fit like a large single bed or like a sofa bed. And I'm not, you might be able to pull one out, but the only thing is I'm thinking once it's pulled out, is this door gonna be able to open and close? Because I ideally you'd want it like covering this whole space there. So I'm a bit worried about that, but we've got a plan. So I'll share the plans with you. And then this bit here as well, like it's quite big. Then we've got a storage cupboard slash gonna be one of our wardrobes in here. I've just got my suitcase in here at the minute. The only annoying thing is they said that they would they would have put rails up. Um, and obviously when you're, we're renting, so we can't put like, we can't drill anything into the walls. So we've got some standing rails, but we might need to get some more. And then I think this is my favorite bit about the apartment is the bathroom. It's literally just my bathroom of dreams. Like, oh shit, I absolutely love it. So excuse my stuff in here, by the way. Um, so we've got obviously the bathroom. The bathroom, the toilet, the sink. We've got this huge mirror and it's got storage stuff in here. Like when I said I didn't bring anything, I just brought stuff like the most random stuff that I don't need. Like I don't need to wash my hair right now because I've got no towels here. Like moisturizer, skincare, and like here I've just brought like rollers and like basically when I was packing, this was all like the last bits. I was like, oh shit, I need to pack that. I've not packed it in all my other stuff. So I just chucked it in. Like that's why I've just got some like eyeshadow palettes. I'm not really sure why I thought I needed them um, for tonight, but yeah. And then just absolutely love the shower and the bath. We've got a heated towel route as well. I just love it so much. See if I can get a full zoom on this. It's just so pretty. Obsessed. Oh yeah, and it's got a little thing here to hang towels or dressing gowns. And then we come out to like the main living room. Oh, this cupboard is just like a washing machine and like water and stuff like that. Nothing nothing exciting um yeah so this is like the main kitchen and living area i i think the main thing i loved from this apartment is just the kitchen space here right let me move the primer bag because it's ruining the vibe this is my temporary bin so yeah we, it's like a navy blue and marble kitchen we've obviously got like the oven the hob this is like a fridge and freezer here all of our drawers and the sink and absolutely love this breakfast bar as well i feel like 
we're going to use it so much more than a table. There, when we did like the FaceTime view, and there was like a table here, but it took up quite a lot of space. And they were like, we're just going to move it and um, have breakfast stools instead. Good breakfast stools, I'm not sure. Have these stools instead, and I love them. Then we've got like the TV stand. And I absolutely love this table. It can like fold in. So if we just wanted it that like one big circle, I can do that. But oh, I'm just so obsessed with it. We've got the sofa as well and this green chair. I feel like I'm not massively sure why they chose green. But anyway, we'll put a throw or some pillows on that. Yeah, so this is the sofa as well. And what we're planning to do is, so potentially move this sofa into the second bedroom um and have it well liam doesn't know this yet but potentially have it as a make with like a makeup desk in there some sort of room like that um have extra storage and this sofa in there and then get this one um sorry get a new sofa in here that pulls out into a sofa bed um i feel like there's just going to be more space because i like we could have or the other option is to have two single beds in the spare room but get the ones that you know like fold under each other to have that instead so we have got options but this sofa isn't the like comfiest you know it's not like the coat it's like nothing wrong with it but it's not like the comfiest coziest sofa in the world so we might potentially do that and then the only thing you don't get if you have a sofa bed out here is obviously people aren't in like their own room with the door closed but we're going to have just family and friends staying anyway so it don't really matter and they can all they can go in like they can put all their stuff in the spare room and um yeah like obviously get ready in there do whatever they want in there but potentially some ideas please let me know what you think i should do because i'm unsure at the minute but i think we just need to like get looking at sofas and stuff and see what we think but yeah i would say the only downside to having the sofa out here when people stay is they don't have their own enclosed room but probably not the end of the world you know now we move into the bedroom so it's the, again this bedroom's a lot bigger than i thought it was it's really hard to show you like oh let me close the door and turn the light on it's really hard to show you like the whole like i don't know i feel like i need to zoom out somehow so i'm like right in the corner here um can i zoom out no that's me again zooming in um yeah so i don't know like this looks really close on camera but it's really not like the only annoying thing about this is with this massive pillar in the middle because we're on a corner but what i'm gonna do there's like quite a lot of space between here is have a big mirror on this pillar here so have it like propped up there because there's enough room in between for it to like not fall down and to like take pictures in it and stuff and then we've got the bed and two side drawers. But I just love it. Again, I was thinking of potentially having like um, a makeup desk in here somewhere. But if I feel like I'd just rather have it in the spare room. Because then I've got a whole room to get ready. And just like have all of my shit in there without imposing on the bedroom. Because guys, I'm living with a male now. I can't be having campus beige princess whole apartment well i can but do you know what i mean not having all of the stuff in there all of the girl things but yeah that is the empty apartment tour please let me know if anyone's got any ideas about the sofa or anything they think i should add any cute decor bits because like i said we've got all our main bits but we've not got loads of like decor bits i really want to get one of those like bum vases with that pampas grass in so, I need, yeah, I need to get one of them. Just let me know what you think. If you hate it, don't tell me, please. But, um, no, I'm joking. If you've got any, like, decor ideas, let a gal know because I need the advice. Um, but, yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the moving vlogs, organising vlogs, everything like that. And I'll speak to you guys in the next video.